I'm here today to talk to you about terrorism's big, dirty secret. And no, it's not that governments stage events or finance criminal groups to carry out events so that those governments can crack down on their populations. Everybody knows about false flag, from Gulf of Tonkin to Adolf Hitler and the Reichstag, or Gleiwitz to start the war with Poland in 1939. For the sake of debate, let's just say 9-11 is exactly like they told us. Let's say Gulf of Tonkin was real. Doesn't matter if it's admittedly staged. Let's just say it was real. Let's say the Reichstag was real. Let's say it's all real. It's all real. Bin Laden's assassination is real on May Day, May 1st. It's all real. Everything's true. Government never lies. Uh, government can be trusted and loved and cared about in the big mega corporations that are not free market but use government to shut down their competition. They can all be trusted. Everything is happiness. Everything is love. Everything is reality when government tells you so. Anyone who questions a government statement or a major corporate statement is a conspiracy theorist. They're a truther. They're a birther. They're a, they're a deather. There's a label pre-made for them. Being skeptical is a criminal act. It, it, it's outrageous. These people are nuts. They should buy whatever they're told. It, it's horrible to question. Buy everything. Be gullible. I agree with that. So let's then talk here about numbers, about facts, and look at terrorism and its big, dirty secret. And I hope you'll look this up for yourself, but all of it is public information. Most of you already know this when you hear it. The big dirty secret is even if you buy the official story about terrorism and everything else we're told and that now they want to have TSA at all the malls and grocery stores sticking their hands down our pants because after all we'll put up with their hands down our pants. We'll certainly give them our labor and our tax money, but they're good folks keeping us safe from terrorists. I, I forgot while well, the border's wide open. Again, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist and even have critical thinking and question anything they're saying. Um, the point I'm trying to get at here is the big dirty secret. Are, are, are you ready for the big dirty secret about terrorism? No, it's not that it's false flag. They never stage anything. They, they're good folks. No, it's something that everybody knows. And it's this. They hype the living daylights out of it. Let's say it's real. On average, less than 20 Americans die a year from terrorism. But the media hypes it up with all this fear and look at them and this hatred and this tribalism, the outsider, and it's used as a distraction from the imploding economy, the illegal wars, all the things that are happening. No one can deny that. I looked it up. Uh, on average, over 100 people die a year of honeybee stings from allergic reaction. Hundreds and hundreds die of peanut allergy. Hundreds more of wasp stings. Hundreds and hundreds, close to 1,000 every year from snake bites. Water moccasins, rattlesnakes, coral snakes. Do you see big terror announcements, the fear, a rattlesnake with a Bin Laden beard and a turban? We've got to invade all these countries and uh, go after all these nations because these snakes are killing close to a thousand people a year. You have a better chance being struck by lightning, dying of a bee sting. You have hundreds and hundreds of times a better chance of dying in a car wreck, over 200,000 a year. Tens of thousands dying uh, from hitting their head in the shower or on the pool. But do they hype it all up? Government cares so much about you. Here's the big secret, the big hoax. Government tells you, man, the government's job is keeping you safe. And we care so much that we're spying on all of you and watching you. We get the Homeland Security documents and almost all the spies are focused on gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, landowners, independent people that don't want to be part of the collectivist hive Borg. And so the big dirty secret is it's all a big hoax. Uh, if they're actually worried about deaths, they'd be concerned about the over 200,000 deaths a year from faulty prescription drugs, the 300 plus thousand deaths from mistakes at the hospital, 
the list goes on and on. No, they don't give a rat's behind about you and your family. They use really junior high or even childish boogeyman parables about scary men in turbans who want to kill you if you don't give your rights up and accept all these new wars. It's so elementary. Since when did Land of the Free, Home of the Brave become a shaking, cowering, rent and stimpy chihuahua afraid of the boogeyman? Since when did we say, take all my rights, keep me safe? Since when? And statistically, in the World Almanac, terrorism deaths for U.S. citizens is way down at the bottom. More people die when they plug in their coffee maker and the tile's wet and they get electrocuted. More people die when a bumblebee stings them. But we've got to change our whole way of life and endless hype and all the hysteria for something that is a vapor, an apparition, a, a, a delusion. They are creating irrational fears and that's the big hoax. That's the big dirty lie. To have us fleeing over the edge of a cliff running from an enemy that doesn't exist. You know, the British hunt pheasant by having their uh, servants beat the bushes, bang on pots and pans and a wedge, and drive the pheasants out of the woods towards their palatial lords, hunting them with 12-gauge shotguns. And that's what bin Laden and all the rest of it is. The threat isn't bin Laden. The threat isn't Amar al when he's not hanging out at the CIA. The threat is the beaters beating the bushes. That's the terrorists. So in a way, they are the threat. They drive you out towards the real threat, the royals lined up with their shotguns, shooting the pheasants that have been driven in fear out to be shot. The wicked fleeth when none pursueth. That's always one of my favorite Bible quotes, and I didn't steal that from uh, True Grit. It's been one of my favorite quotes for years, but I'm glad they used it. So you've been given the big dirty secret. And it's right there for you to go find out for yourself. You've got hundreds of times better chance dying in car wrecks. We still drive cars every day. We still accept the risk. Hundreds of times a better chance dying of bad drug interactions. You still take the prescription drugs. Many, many times better chance of dying from a bumblebee or a wasp or a honeybee. So why do you have this irrational fear? Because deep inside your anthropology, your sociology, you have an archetypal fear of the other tribe coming to enslave you, coming to kill you. And in that is a great truth. In our human development on this planet, hurtling through space around the standard sun, the greatest threat we ever faced was the neighboring tribe deciding to come and kill all the men and take the women and children for themselves. Every culture's done it. And so when you see a guy wearing a dress and a turban and a beard, it's scary. And when they tell you the tribal enemy is coming to get you, you line up and you do what you're told. And the sociologists and anthropologists know that if they show you a man in a dress, bin Laden, you will crap your pants and give over your entire life to them. They're punching primitive buttons built into you for survival 50,000 years ago. We're facing a new enemy. And there comes the next instinct and the ultra secret they don't want you to know and what they're afraid of. Humanity are the ultimate survivors, the super dominant species of this planet. The omnivore super predator. It is because we adapt that we are all powerful on this planet and will project our species into the galaxy because we develop quickly, we adapt quickly, and we may be manipulated through some 50,000-year-old template, but we are waking up to it and learning very, very fast. It's more than just the hundredth monkey theory. We're gonna beat these people. They're not gonna stop the species because when you realize that men come and go, women, children come and go, individuals come and go, the old Norse saying, Cattle die and kinsmen die. But I know there's one thing that never dies, and that's the fame of a dead man's deeds. It's not the fame you want from your progeny. It's that communal understanding that they remember you and think about you and hold you up as an image 
of what they want to be. Cattle die, kinsmen die. But I know there's one thing that never dies, and that's the fame of a dead man's deed. I love you, and I know we're going to beat these miscreant people that would use their information against their own people, their own human tribe. We've created a predatory system where humans, the ruling class, act as predators against us. They're not hunting wild bison or boar or uh, wild elephant, mastodon, woolly mammoth, cave bear, saber-toothed tiger. They're hunting us. I want to take that tectonic fury that is humanity and turn it to mathematics, science, history, learning, human dimension. I want our numbers to swell. I want to people the known universe. I want thousands of years from now our incredible progeny that will be gods compared to what we are today to look back at us, their vestigial ancestors, and appreciate that the better part of our species won the day. I'm Alex Jones. This is the InfoWar. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.